And what I want to do is show you the aftermath of the swim. I live a cold right now. Uh -huh. yeah. Very, very glad to be here. The way they received the swim in the Soviet Union was that I had sort of been elevated to cosmonaut status. They really get into it because the Russians know about endurance and they know about cold. And they really identified with what I had been doing. In her honor, the Soviet government named a spot of land on Siberia's Lake Baikal, Cape Lynn Cox. And at a summit in Washington, the Soviet premier praised Lynn as a shining example of how to bridge the gap between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. Last summer, it took a daring American girl by the name of Lynn Cox a mere two hours to swim the distance separating our two countries. By her courage, she showed how close to each other our two peoples live. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.